Hey fellow bird enthusiasts, I have something exciting to share with you today. This is called the Haiku Box. What is that you might ask? Well, this is an AI powered bird identification station. It listens 24 seven. It's something that you put in your backyard and it's making waves in the bird community right now. It's something that you place in your backyard and it continually listens and identifies all of the birds that it hears. So how's it work? Well, it uses a neural network called BirdNet and it listens and it analyzes what's called spectrograms. Spectrograms are basically a way of visualizing audio. It's trained to analyze these spectrograms and look for familiar patterns that you typically see when birds make a song or make a call. Loggerhead Instruments has put a lot of work into this device over the past couple of years. It had an initial production run in 2022 and they took a lot of feedback from the community. They made some improvements to it to make it more weatherproof, to improve the durability and to improve the performance. Well, we just got our hands on it and I've been having a lot of fun with it. So how does it work? Well, there's a microphone here on the bottom and it listens continuously. It analyzes the audio files using a neural network called BirdNet and it will ID birds with a confidence level of low, medium, or high. The Haiku Box has charming bird illustrations on the packaging and inside it comes with a leaflet that gives you instructions on how to set it up. Installing the Haiku Box in my backyard was super easy. It has holes on there. You can hang it by a single screw or a nail and it's designed to be mounted vertically. And you want to install it somewhere that it's not going to get flooded by water, but if it gets rained on, that's no problem. It comes with an 11 foot power cable and a small plug, which makes it easy to fit into those outdoor weather enclosures that you have. That was important to me because I'm already running a station in my backyard that I built myself and I wanted to be able to run them both side by side. Setting it up only takes about a minute. There's a Haiku Connect app that you download and it talks to the box and will get it connected up to your Wi-Fi network. Once you're done with that, it's ready to go. The Haiku box can send push notifications when it detects a new bird species in your yard. You can turn them on and off for specific birds or you can be notified whenever a new bird shows up in your yard. And don't worry, it's not going to overload you with tons of notifications. If you're anything like me, you might have sparrows or finches in your backyard all day long, and it's only going to send one notification every 12 hours for each type of bird that it hears. And if you're curious to learn more about your feather visitors, inside the app there are links to eBird, which will show you photos and audio, and BirdCast, which will give you migration information. The Haiku box will give you access to historical stats. This will show things like the time of day you're likely to see them, and the time of year they're most likely to be in town. And in the app, there's a top 10 screen, and that will show you the most popular visitors that have been to your yard. The Haiku box classifies its detections at a low, medium, or high confidence level, and by default it only shows you the medium and high detections, but you can view them all if you'd like. I thoroughly reviewed the detections that the station made over the course of a few days, and I found that it had a very low rate of false positives. Comparing it to a homemade station like the BirdNet Pi, I found that it had a very similar number of detections. This wasn't surprising considering they both use the BirdNet model. But if you do get any weird detections, you're able to hide particular birds in the user interface so you don't see them in any of your lists. For my initial testing period, I ran the station for a full day, and these are the top 10 species that it detected. Notice how the house sparrows blow everyone else out of the water. You can listen to all the detections in the Haiku Box app or on their website, and it allows you to label detections on whether they're correct or not, or whether you don't know. Here are a few of my favorite recordings that the box has captured so far. The first one is a great-tailed grackle. This next one is a European collared dove. This one is a killdeer. And this final one is a nocturnal bird called the common night. So to summarize, the Haiku Box is a great companion. Whether you're a seasoned birder or brand new to bird watching, it really can open your eyes to the amount of birds that are visiting your yard or even just flying over. 
The app has a lot of comprehensive resources, gives you access to historical stats, and allows you to review your detections at any time, and it was super easy to set up. However, there's always room for improvement. The app has a lot of features and a lot of info in there, but sometimes it can feel a little overwhelming at first. But the developers are very open to feedback and I've been emailing with them and they've been very responsive and love to hear people's ideas. Now, I'm sure you're wondering about the price. The Haiku box is currently $399. It comes with a five-year prepaid membership to their website, and it's going to be $49 a year after that. You can order it directly on their website, and right now it ships out within less than a week. And in my experience, it took about three days to get to me. I hope you found this review helpful. Let me know in the comments if you're considering picking one up. And if you'd like to learn more, I have an in-depth article that's linked to below on my website. Happy birding!